Hi, my name's Mike, and today I'm gonna to take you through three of our portable LED panel solutions. Uh, I'm gonna start here with the smallest in the range, which is the 144 LED panel. It also features color adjustment, which is a, makes it a very versatile light. So you get this great little uh, soft carry bag, so you can keep all the accessories together, chuck it in your big gear bag, and uh, you're not gonna lose little bits and pieces. It consists of the panel itself, and then we've got a number of bits and pieces. Comes with a Sony style NPF battery. It also comes with a charger for that battery, as well as a 12 volt and 240 volt adapter. And also comes with this little uh, mount that you can put on a light stand or on a camera. Uh, it's a little swivel head, similar to a flash holder you may have seen, um, and is really handy. So I'm just gonna put that away for now and take you through the light. I'll just clip the uh, Sony battery on the back here into the harness, you hear it lock and, uh, and flick it on. So we've got 72 LEDs that are dedicated to the cool end of the color spectrum and 72 that are dedicated to the warm end of the color spectrum. And we can also go somewhere in between there and match the color to uh, mixed daylight and halog uh, mixed daylight and uh, fluorescent lighting if you're in a mixed lighting scenario, or we can match it to uh, either full halogen or full fluorescent. Um, it has a thread on the base here that can be mounted onto a light stand, which makes it very, very easy to put off to the side of your subject. It can also be put onto the hot shoe of a camera. Or alternatively, if you were, say, shooting a bride and uh, you wanted to put this uh, as a highlight for her hair and you didn't have an assistant with you, it's so light and easy that you could just get a bridesmaid or, or a little flower girl or, or anyone really to hold that light there so that you can get the effect that you're looking for to get your shot. So that's the 144 color adjustable LED panel. Next up, we're gonna show you the 312. And now this is uh, the 312 that has a gelling system to control the color temperature. Uh, so this great little magnetic diffuser clips off and we can clip on a warmer yellow diffuser. If I put it on the correct way, there you go. And that's on. Uh, it has just the one adjustment knob on the back here for, for uh, intensity. Uh, and it has two of the Sony style MPF batteries. It also comes with a dual charger, so you can charge both at the one time and all of the other accessories that I've shown you in the previous light. Now, this is a, a great light if you're looking for maximum output. Having the 312 LEDs all focusing on the white color means that it gives a lot of light. And, uh, and if you're looking just for maximum output, then this is definitely the light for you. You also have a, a, a great little battery level indicator on the back here to show you where the battery life's at so that if you're shooting for a long time and you're concerned that you're going to run out of battery, you can, you can gauge that and, and be ready for that if that happens. This light is reasonably heavy considering uh, that it's got the two batteries on the back here. You could still mount it on camera, but it is going to start getting heavy, particularly if you're using uh, good quality glass on the front of your camera as well. It's going to get tiring to use, so it's really one that I consider for putting onto a light stand. I found in the office when we're shooting a product video, uh, sorry, a product still photograph, often I reach for this because it's so easy to just quickly set up at any angle that I need, and it gives enough light that I can get the right amount of light on my subject and I can shoot. So that's the 312 with single, uh, with dual. <clears throat> so that's the 312 with the dual gel system to adjust color. I'm now gonna show you the premium one in the range, uh, which has inbuilt color adjustment. So finally, I'll show you the uh, last LED panel that we have in the range. This is the 312 with inbuilt color adjustment. Now, you may ask, why would I buy this one compared to the previous LED 312 that I've shown you that had the gelling system. Um, this does give you a little bit more versatility with um, matching the surrounding ambient light uh, as it, var it varies. You know, if you're shooting at sunset and you want to make sure that you match the light consistently as the sun gets, as the light level gets warmer and warmer and warmer, you can do that obviously by just turning a, turning a color adjustment knob here on the back and it's going to mean that you match it incrementally each time the light changes, which gives you a lot of versatility. The downside or the con of that is that you don't get as much light output as the previous light that I've shown you, but you still do get plenty of light. I mean, you can really crank this thing right up and it's gonna give you a good amount of light. And we are gonna show you some 
uh, examples of uh, the amount of light that you'll get from each of these uh, in just a moment in this video. So again, it runs off the, uh, the two dual Sony NPF batteries. If you're looking for more runtime, you can always add a larger NPF battery to the back of this. The only thing that's gonna limit uh, that for you is the weight that you're going to carry. Uh, as I said in the previous uh, take, they are, um, they, they are heavier than your average on camera light. That's why they come with the, uh, the thread in the base that means you can mount it onto a light stand. Uh, but of course, you can always, always run a bigger battery if you're looking for more runtime. So that uh, is the 312 with color adjustment. So now we're gonna show you uh, a bit of a comparison between the three lights. We've got a Sekonic light meter here. We've uh, set that up, uh, locked at ISO 800 and at F5.6, and we're gonna show you the different shutter speeds it suggests uh, as we change the output uh, on each of the lights. Uh, obviously, if you were shooting, uh, you would have either more ambient light or a secondary light. Um, we're doing this more as a, a comparison. It's on a light stand at a set distance uh, so that you can get a good idea of the different outputs of each of these lights. Uh, I'll, I'll get Jeff to switch off the light and you can see that there's very little, if any, ambient light in here. So uh, the, just as an idea, as a bit of a, a, a sterile environment, as close as we can get to that so that we can give you a good understanding of the, the output of each light. So I'm just going to uh, start off here now. As I said, ISO 800 f5.6, the 144 LED light is at the coolest end of the spectrum on full intensity. And if I get a reading there, it's suggesting uh, 1 1 fourth there. So we'll uh, adjust that up now to be uh, in between so that it's matched uh, to what would normally be your available light. Uh, and it should, in theory, double, which it has. It's now a 1 8, so there's double the amount of light as all the LEDs are on. And uh, we'll now go down to the warm spectrum and you'll see that the light goes back to 1 4th again. So that's the, uh, the 1 4 4 color adjustable. So now we're going to show you the 312 color adjustable LED panel. Um, we've got that set again at the start at the coolest end of the spectrum on full intensity and same settings as the previous light and we're getting a suggested shutter speed there of 1 15th. So I'll get uh, Jeff to turn that up now to be in the middle of the spectrum and it again should double, we get 1 30th. Okay, and then again all the way to the warm spectrum and it should drop back down to 1 15th. So that's, uh, that's the comparison. Now what we'll do is we'll put the magnetic diffuser on the front and you'll see that uh, we do lose um, some light output, but it is much nicer to, to look at for one. I can present to uh, the light a lot easier. It's better to look at because LEDs are very directional uh, and they're quite intense in their direction. So it's actually quite difficult to look at. In fact, right now I can just see stars basically. So um, we'll do that, uh, that test again. We're at the warm end of the spectrum. Our shutter speed drops down to 1 8th. It should then go up to 1 15th when we're in the middle as all the LEDs are on and then back down to the cool end and we're at 1 8th again. So that's the 312 LED with color adjustability inbuilt. So now we're gonna show you the final one in the range which is the 312 non-color adjustable LED panel. Um, I should have mentioned earlier too, as I said before, we're on a light stand um, at a fixed distance and that distance is roughly two metres from where we're standing. So uh, that hasn't changed for each of these LED lights. So at full intensity, obviously we don't have any colour adjustment, so we're just going full intensity. I'm getting a reading of 1 30th of a second, so obviously there's quite a bit of light output there. Um, I'll get Jeff to put the yellow gel on the front. Sorry, he's putting on the clear gel. And you'll see we actually don't lose any light, which is great. So um, that does become slightly easier to look at, but you don't lose any uh, light output. Now we'll put the uh, yellow gel on and you'll see that we do actually lose quite a lot of light output. But of course, we've got nice warm, uh, warm light to look at. So that drops it down to 1 15th of a second. So that concludes the test. Uh, it's taking you through each of the, uh, the models we have. Great amount of variety there, plenty of options for all different sorts of scenarios and uh, I'm sure there'll be something in the range for you.